were you involved in bootlegging Jay-Z's album? Listen, one thing that I tried to make clear after this, 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 this secret meeting, right, that went on about the who's, who, who's, who's going to make more money, Anna Jay-Z. A lot of people look at me like I'm crazy when I say that. And I say, no, we were selling a lot of records, hundreds of millions of dollars. We was doing numbers. Jay was struggling. He needed, at the time, Def Jam. This was when, right before they got this hundred million dollars. Remember, they had to put out all of these. They put out all of these records, these double albums. They needed the the the, the credibility. Rap was about credibility. You know what I'm saying? This was a perfect opportunity to say, okay. Cause it it is funny how you all of a sudden after the incident, like there's record that after that incident, just behind Jay Z on the cover of the Daily News in a Rockaway jacket, Rockaway went up eleven hundred percent. Yeah, everyone bought the jacket. Bought the from jacket the press conference because of that. You know what I'm saying? So, well, there's different accounts of what happened. Mm-hmm. First of which is Jay-Z's own account Mm -hmm. in the book Decoded. Mm -hmm. So this is what he said. He said, one night I went to Q-Tip's solo album release party. And at some point in the night, I ran into the guy everyone's been telling me is behind the bootleg. Mm -hmm. So I approached him. Mm -hmm. When I told him what I suspected, to my surprise, he got real loud with me right there in the middle of the club. It was strange. We separated and I went over to the bar. I was sitting there like, no, the fuck this dude did not just say that. I was talking to people, but I was really talking to myself out loud, just in a state of shock. Before I even realized what I was doing, I headed back over to him. But by this time, I was blacking out with anger. Mm -hmm. Next thing I knew, all hell had broken loose in the club. That night, the guy went straight to the police and I was charged with assault. Mm -hmm. So he described like you guys got together and you talked and you got loud with him. Mm -hmm. And then he separated and Mm -hmm. came back. Mm -hmm. Did you get loud with him? No. Absolutely not. I'm, I've never gotten loud with Jay. I've gotten loud with Dame. Dame okay. was the, the, the guy that I used to battle with in public and yell and scream because that's what the energy that he gave up. That's how Dame is. I Jay's know. a nice guy. Okay. Like I said, he's he's not a yeller, and especially in public. Yeah. I mean, he's a nice guy, but he was also very much bothered by the situation of the bootleg. Yeah, but the bootleg, and you got to understand, the biggest bootlegger in the hip-hop game was a guy named DJ Clue, right? Everybody wanted to kill Clue. Every rapper in Rockefeller signed right. the biggest bootlegger in the game at the time. They want to know where it, where it came from. Won't you look at the biggest bootlegger? Yeah. 